Hello everyone, welcome back to Learning the Wires. Today kicks off a brand new series where we'll be building a C++ inventory, crafting, and building system in Unreal Engine 5.6. Whether you're looking to create a survival game, a shooter, or just want to be more comfortable using C++ inside Unreal, this series is for you. I will have the project files in the description for you to download, or if you want to follow along with the videos and create your own project, here are the settings I use when creating my project. In this first video, we're laying the groundwork. I'll walk you through setting up your Unreal 5.6 C++ project using the FPS template. Making sure you got Visual Studio 2022 set up correctly, the Windows SDK installed, and everything configured so we can jump right into the code in the next episode. By the end of this series, you'll have a working system where you can collect items, craft bullets and healing items, and even place structures like walls, all using C++. Let's dive in and get this project set up the right way from the start. As you can see, I can load right into the template right away, but there might be a few things you'll need to do before working with C++ in Unreal Engine. You might get an error like this, and I will show you how to fix it. It's really simple. Head to Visual Studio 22 Installer and update if you need. I have many different workloads enabled, but you need the Game Dev with C++ and Desktop Dev with C++ enabled. You can do some optional ones like Python Dev and .NET Desktop Dev, but those we won't use at least for right now. Also, if you have space on your computer, you can install these components that Visual Studio suggests. And finally, if you're using Windows 11, you can just follow along with me and get the Windows SDK all set up. And it's the same process for Windows 10, you just type that into the search bar. But now we have the configuration all set up, we can head into our code base and see how everything is structured. If you downloaded those individual components, you might have some red errors, but it's a really simple fix. Just hit the refresh button. Yellow warnings, we do not need to worry about them. We will see in a second that our project opens just fine. We can click around in our folder and you can see the solution explorer is like your content drawer. And you can go into source and that's where all the files in our project will live. Thank you for watching. Tune into the next video and we'll get started building our systems. Let's begin. Don't be so shy.